Okay, this is a review of the book Planetarium, the junior edition, and a bit of a flick through um, or a look inside. We bought this book for my um, four-year-old, three-year-old twins and two-year-old, and we love it. Um, I would say that the way it goes through each of the topics and the order it puts them is great. Um, the amount of information in the book is um, perfect for the ages in which I have. Um, it basically goes through each topic with a page of information and a picture to go with it. And the pictures are obviously all um, labelled so you can see what they are of. Um, my kids have really enjoyed this book and learnt a lot from it. I did read reviews where it said that it was a little light on information. I personally haven't found that true myself. I think it's perfect for the age um, that we're using it with. It has a lot of information. It goes into um, just the facts about the planets. Um, I guess the most well-known facts it outlines all of the planets in our solar system, um, talks about the moon, it talks about um, the dwarf planets and why dwarf planets are not planets. It also goes into comets and asteroids. It just works through all the information really, really well. Um, I find the pictures are absolutely beautiful. I was wondering if they would be enough for my children because they are so young, if they um, would still gain their interest and they have, they definitely have. My kids constantly pick this book up and um, want it to be read to them. Even in, we often do um, our book basket time, which we'll read a few pages from it. Um, whereas they will often come over and bring the book over and ask me to read it just during free play time. They also constantly want to revisit pages. So they'll say, can we read the asteroid page again, mummy? So we'll read over this page and then it will inspire um, just thought and even talk. So um, my four-year-old will often say, oh, an asteroid's what hit planet Earth and that's what made the dinosaurs extinct. And I wonder how big the asteroid was. And it just triggers those sorts of information we've learned from other places and they connect it all together. Um, he is, my four-year-old's definitely getting a bigger picture understanding and I think it, he's definitely got that through this book just in terms of the way that it works through the topics. Um, I feel that it's a really, really good format. We have quite a few books on space and um, I do love the way that this one um, works through each of the planets and then it goes into the dwarf planets, obviously, and then the stars and um, just a lot of information about how the stars, the different types of stars and how a new stars made um, moving on to the life cycle of a star and my kids love these stars of pictures where they can see like the different stages they really enjoy going back and um, I guess revising what they've learnt and saying is that when this happens mummy and is that this stage of the star's life so it helps them just naturally reflect on what they're learning when they're just looking themselves back through the books at the pictures instead of um, me needing to quiz them on it they do that themselves and whenever we do do a science unit um, we're not a worksheet type family so we don't do that so books that do inspire conversation and them to reflect on their learning and um, narrate back to me what I have read is a really good book in my mind so definitely one for your bookshelves um, even as young as my kids are I definitely am very happy that we got it and yeah it's I would highly recommend it it is definitely worthwhile purchase I like I said do have the junior edition we got the junior edition obviously because my kids are quite young and 
I'm really happy with it. The amount of information in it's perfect for my kids' age. I'm not, I feel like if I got the next level above, it might have gone in a little bit too deep and lost them. The um, size of each page is perfect for us to get that little snippet of view and then keep moving so they don't get too bored. We're able to easily read um, probably five to ten pages in a sitting um, without losing my kids' interest and with them being engaged and, um, like I said, making conversation about the information they're hearing. So definitely a worthwhile book to buy, in my opinion. Um, thanks for listening.